Today I'm going to show you how to make a couple quick jigs um, with just scrap wood um, to do some off-center turning. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, um, what we're going to do is, is drill some holes in it at different spots on the, on the circle here um, to give us different uh, effects when we put our piece in it. So I'm just going to go around and do a couple different sizes um, of uh, Forstner bits and at different spots on the, on the piece. Um, and that hissing in the background is the heater because it's freezing out here. So, let's go ahead and maybe do one one that's close to the center. So you can come down in it a uh, little ways depending on what you're doing. Um, your depth is going to change. Um, to whatever project it is you're working on or what you would set this up for would be something that you were doing a lot of um, so and then you change change sizes and on them and then we can do a smaller one and move it out to the side so what will happen when you're turning it it'll just catch it at different spots because they're going to be off center so let's do maybe a bigger one on the the outside too, and then change bits. Okay, and I just changed to a smaller bit, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a few more at different spots. Just run them, run them all around. Just dip, different depths too, depending on you know what it is you're you're trying to accomplish. All right, we're just going to go ahead and, and leave it at that right now. I'm going to have it as a tenon on the back side so that it mounts on the, the four-jaw chuck. You can do the same thing if you were using a face plate. You could screw um, this on or a waste block. Um, actually, you could screw it on and then just make sure that your screws didn't hit where, where you were going to be working. Um, and that would actually work just fine too. But I have it set up for the four-jaw chuck. And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, turn a couple little pieces that fit right in here with a pressure fit. And then uh, put a little bit of detail on them. Let's go ahead and move it over the lathe. Okay, um, I forgot. I went ahead and drilled holes down through the center of each each of them, so that when you, uh, after you get done, I made them so they would would fit in my little uh, tool here, so I can knock them out. Because once once you get them in there, like this, these are going to be flush. When you pop them in, so it'd be kind of hard to dig that out um, afterwards. So you can just tap on them from the back. So we're just going to go ahead and pop these in and then go ahead and turn up the face of them. All right, have it in there and they're all flush. So let's go ahead and just put a little bit of detail on that. And another thing you can do is, is um, well, I'll show you after after we get it, get it done. The fingernail gouge. So look at that. And then it, what it does is, is just uh, puts a circle in there Put it off center. Go ahead and clean that up. All right, and you can you can see that off center there. And then the other thing you can do is mark it. So let's say that's where it's going to hit. You can actually come around here, mark this spot here, and move pop this out, move it over, and we're going to do that. So we're going to just, I'm just going to guesstimate right here to where where the four spots are. Let's try and get it a little bit close. Okay. Okay, so let's let's turn it to each of these spots. So you want your, your spot there to be the same as you come around. So we'll move this over to here. Okay, then we have our piece here. See that? Okay, so we just turned it right there. We're going to turn it around and pop it in right there. So 
So you see that? I'll try to work that. And just keep checking so you don't come out and, and get past your line there. So you can kind of, can you see that? I'll show you close up in a minute. Anyway. Okay, and then let's do do the same up here. Let's make sure that one's level and go ahead and put a little detail on it. And it would probably be better if you use a contrasting wood, I would think, so that you kind of know where your where your uh, where your actual piece is. It's kind of hard to see that, so we kind of play around with it. So, okay, so you can see where it, where it just took a groove out there, and then you can turn it, just like we did the other one. This one we'll be able to get out, though, without taking it off. So, we just line it up. It was right there. We make sure. We, let's just turn it around uh, just a little bit, maybe a quarter. that and maybe see if we can't see that when we turn it on. There we go. That helps out a little bit. You can, you can see that right there. And I just turned it off of there. So look at that. Look at that. My nice little detail there. Let's uh, turn it around again. So what it's going to do is you can kind of now you can tell where it's going to come across so just turn it around to right there and it's going to come across right there and use the pencil actually that works good that's great little little tip there come across just take that pencil line out forget about all this i don't know what i was doing there not good erase that anyway put a pencil line where you're going to mark so like uh, we're turning this one right yeah. So put it on there. Let's see when you turn it on, you'll be able to see it. This one up here is a little, little more difficult to see, but but it turns out great. There you go. And you can see it right there. And look at that. I just pulled it out. So. See that? Look at that. So you you could actually take some time and get a pattern that you know. I mean that just random. I just happened to land on that one, but it's a nice little arc each way. Then one come across the center. Um, you can figure out exactly where it's going to be and do some nice little detail on the lid of a box. Um, and then this one too. Just, uh, you can center them wherever you want. As you get out here, they're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to put a circle in. And the closer you move in here, the more it's going to, it's going to, you're going to be able to put a, put a circle in. These out here, you're just going to be able to, to, uh, do something basic like that. But, um, that's just a neat little, uh, way to do off-center turning. Um, the only thing is you're going to set this up for something specific, like you were doing um, compact mirrors. You know, um, I think I did, I did that was in one of my videos. So you would set it up for a specific uh, diameter and put it where you were going to do it and then just leave the jig set up that way so that you could do that. So, and then, I don't know, let's uh, let's try this. Let's let's move it into a different different spot see what it does. That now we're gonna let's see if we can't get a get a little spot there. See where it's gonna hit. Somewhere in here. So you're not gonna be able to get a circle out of that one, but you can see see that faint little little line there, and we just turned it out. 
it just cut a little little line right on the bottom there. So the closer you uh, you have your your uh, piece to the center, the more you're going to be able to do a complete circle. So as you, the further you get out, it's just going to cut lines across your piece and not uh, not give you a complete circle on it. So just keep that in mind when you're setting it up. But let's go ahead and I'll show you one other quick way where you can do an actual an, an adjustable one. So let's do that real quick. Okay, and here's another quick way. Um, same thing we did last week with the off-center box, but this one you can adjust much easier than the other one. So, same thing. This is just our, our one we just did. Um, you can go ahead and just pop it in there, just like we did before. So, um, if you don't want it to just catch and, and make little rings, you can actually move it in and to where it would be uh, actually dead center, to right back to where where center is but let's just move it off just a little bit and try that see what that does so bring this back a little bit so the propeller we're going to need to put the other tool rest on a little short one doesn't hang over the here and I don't want to get the tool rest out there too far Okay, so let's see where that hits. You can actually see right, right where it's at. Put a little bit of... Look at that. So it just put a little off-center there. So... Can you see that? It just came, came right up to the edge, actually. Pretty close. So let's do another one, and let's go the other way. Let's actually bring it over to where it will put it on the other side. Make sure it's in there good, flush, and I know it sounds like it's going to take off, but lay the end up in Ireland. So, come in, put a little bit of detail in there, and look, and then it just pops it out to the other side. So you see that? And you can adjust that just simply by moving it, you know, in the chuck there to make any sort of shape you want. Um, with a little bit of time, you can figure out exactly, you know, a uh, neat little shape you like or, or just bring it out, you know, all the way out here and just cut a, just make sure it's in there flush. So we're going to, once you get it out here, you might want to put the, the pencil line on it and you can kind of already see where it's gonna gonna be you know and actually if you just wanted to to cut a line above like these two circles circles we just did let's try that well you're not gonna be able to, you can barely see the pencil line there you can barely see it so I'm just gonna cut into it for a sec and you see it it just pulled it right little spot right across the top. So you can see that it just just cut a line right across the top there. So but once you get it when you get it out here spinning around it's um it's a little more difficult to see the pencil line but just be careful on it. Alright that's an easy way to make some simple little jigs to do some off center turning. Thanks for watching. Alright, um, just a couple quick little jigs, um, probably make them in probably 20-30 minutes um, to do some neat off-center turning and come up with some just neat designs. Um, the other thing is, I'm on Facebook, um, a lot of people want to send me pictures and stuff and, and want to see some pictures, so um, I'll put a link in the description for that, and that way we can share pictures back and forth, and it's a lot easier than um, YouTube doesn't allow you to send pictures, but... Um, it's a lot easier than individual emails going back and forth. So I put a link in the description. But thanks for watching.